the Nibelung. In any city, in any country, go to the nearest train station you can find. Proceed to move towards the information booth and ask the person there to instruct you on where to find a train that leads to the holder of the Nibelung. Should he look at you in an awkward way, or tell you that he does not know such a place, leave immediately and never ask for that train again, as you were never meant to even go near the place where the train will take you. If the person grows pale and mumbles a faint, follow me, do so. You will be taken to a very distant part of the train station, which you never thought existed before in the place. You will be left alone near the train tracks to wait for the incoming train. Suddenly, you will see a train approaching, similar to any other common train you have seen before, but instead of a number or letter, a very strange mark will be branded on its cars. You must take the third car, and only the third car in the train, as any other car will cause you multiple effects, from schizophrenia to heat stroke, which will eventually cause a painful death. Once you enter the train, take a seat and the doors will shut tight behind you. You will feel a rush of cold air, colder than anything you have felt before, as the train starts moving at a very fast pace and everything outside goes pitch black. In a seat close to yours, you will soon notice a very strange person garbed in a black trench coat wearing a black hat that obscures his facial features entirely, even though the train is in fact well lit. Do not stare at the man for very long, as this will enrage him, causing the freezing train car to turn red with heat, to a point that any living thing inside will incinerate almost instantly. The train will abruptly stop once, but you must not stand up from your seat. Instead, the figure accompanying you will rise and proceed to head to the exit and take off his hat, revealing his face. He will ask you, Are you one of those foolish enough to seek? You must then respond with all sincerity why you became a seeker. He will then exit the train and disappear into the darkness, cursing the seekers for their foolishness. The train will then move again, this time the temperature dropping more by the second. The train will stop abruptly, and you must immediately leave the train. You will end up in a hall that resembles that of a castle. As you walk forward to the end of the room, you will notice various ice columns adorning your way each containing a single person maimed in the most grotesque and horrifying ways ever, their suffering frozen in place for what seems like an eternity. At the very end of the room there will be a large circular pedestal, surrounded by thirteen colossal statues, each wielding a sword pinned against the ground. In front of the pedestal will be a very large bearded man who has remained stoic ever since you noticed him, apparently not impressed or surprised by your visit. Anything you utter at this point will come out as a wail of irrational pain that you will feel with no apparent cause. The only words capable of exiting your mouth in this place are those which you must ask the bearded holder. What will become of me once they are together? The holder will then open his mouth, but no sound will come out. Your mind will fill with images of yourself in your future, and all the suffering and pain you will feel once they come together will come to you at once. The pain itself may cause you to want to scream your lungs out, but your wails will just cause the pain to worsen. Once the ordeal is complete, the man will shift from his position, leading to the pedestal, 
which contains a very large sword in its center. Draw it from its place and examine the ancient runes that cover the blade, exactly 2,537 black marks. If the thirteen statues draw their swords from their place and point them at you, the best option right now is suicide. If you let the statues get you before this, they will obliterate you in the most horrid and painful way conceivable, and you will be frozen in an ice column, feeling the pain of being maimed constantly, added with the constant suffering of not having any oxygen for all eternity. If, however, the statues raise their swords high over their heads, the sword is yours to keep. This sword is the legendary Balmung. For every object you already possess, one of the black runes will light up as a bright green light. The temperature will begin to rise, and the ice columns will melt. All the maimed figures will be angered at you, as you did that which they could not do, and made them end up in eternal suffering. They will all charge at you, and start devouring you. You can fend them off with your newly acquired sword, if you like, but they will eventually outturn you, and you will be knocked out by them. You will open your eyes again, and you will appear in the place you call home, with the Balmung at your side. The Balmung is object 485 or 538. As the amount of objects you possess increases, the sword will become stronger, and so will your skills with weaponry. Beware! as giving the sword too much power will cause the inexperienced seeker to drive it against themselves. Some objects may be at your possession, but their true desire is to be with the others.